All right, guys, welcome back. So this isn't exactly the smartest way to do it. I was just doing it to make sure this was working. What we really want to do is instead of running arc pi a bunch of times, this add rasters, we want to run this one time. So like as long as you have like less than a thousand images, uh, you can run this just once. So like we're going to pass uh, uh, all of these into this. So instead of just passing an image here, we're going to pass a list of images. So I'm actually going to take this statement out of this for loop and bring it down outside. Actually, hold on. I'm going to make a new file called image processor2. And I'm going to copy this. I want to put this code on GitHub and then put this code on GitHub so you can compare. Um, so, yeah, we want to take this statement out of the for loop. Just put it down here. And now what we want to do, we just we want to make a list and call this images to add. Make that a list. And what we're going to do is actually, yeah, let's take this the GP thing out. And what we want to do is say images to add. So this is a list, and we're saying add dot append. Sorry, append is how you add to a list. And what do we want to append? We want to append this VSIS3 image path, right? So we want to add this. So we want to loop through all those images and add them to a big list. And then at the end, use that big list as input down here. So let's just try that. This time, let's make it 20 images. All right. And then down here, let's print, say, this is the image list to be used as input for add rasters. OK, and then say dot format, and then print out images to add. And adding to the list counter, that's fine. All right, uh, let's give that a shot. Looks good to me. Oh, sorry, I'm running. Uh, this is running the old one, so we need to right click here and say run image processor 2. So it's going to really quickly build that list like that. And this is the image list. So you see all these different images. And now I can tell it's doing something because, um, you know, it's sort of hanging here. And what it's doing is it, it, it finished. So crawling one data source. Uh, oh, you know what? I messed up here. So this only added one image. Um, so we, we didn't change this to the image, image just to add list, right? This is just using whatever value this was on the last loop. It's using that. So that's why it only added one. So let's make this images to add. So it's a list. And if you look at the documentation for um, add rasters, you can see that. See how it, it takes. It can take a. It's in brackets. It can take a list of items. So th those brackets mean that it can take a list, or an array. So let's try this again. I thought that finished really fast. Okay. This is more like it. it. Should take a couple of seconds at least. My chair is so squeaky. I need some WD-40 on this bad boy. All right. I would say this is probably normal that it's taking this long. 
I would expect maybe like two minutes, maybe. But I mean, the fact that it didn't error out yet is promising. So just while we're waiting, some other cool things you can do with this add raster to mosaic data set. So instead of giving it a, a list like this, we can give it uh, like a CSV. Like we could put all of these values into a CSV file and give it the CSV file. Uh, that's something I've done in the past too. But I mean, it makes sense if you're just in Python just to do a list like this. Okay, succeeded. Completed uh, crawling 21 items, added 21 mosaic data sets. So it looks like this worked, sweet. So let's open up Pro and just make sure we see more rows. Uh, I always do this, <laughs> gotta connect to that folder again. All right, you can. I can already see we have more images here, more footprints. So yeah, we have 35 rows in here. So you can see how how quickly and easily we added rows from S3 to this mosaic data set. So, I mean, these mosaic data sets can get huge, like into the millions of rows. Um, so it, it's a cool exercise to to be able to to uh, to show this show this feature off. Uh, let's just wait and make sure we see imagery. And I mean the cool thing is it's doing ortho on the fly, like it, it's ortho rectifying this imagery. And I mean there's all kinds of cool things we can do. We could populate more fields with particular data. That might be another video in the future um, if we wanted to make custom fields here. So yeah, here we go, the image came back. Sweet. Alright guys, I think that's all I wanted to cover in this uh, for this topic. I uh, hope that was helpful. Um, hope you guys learned more about imagery, mosaic data sets, and S3 and ArcGIS Pro. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.